Hey y'all, I'm Chris from Key Farm. I do a lot of small engine stuff, but occasionally I build something electric. Let me show you what it is and then we'll take a look at what it is. This is what happens to a battle bot when they're washed up and they can't fight anymore. They have to get a real job. But Will it go off-road? Well, let's take a look. Somebody should really rake my front yard and use this to carry them all away. But will it haul anything? I'm 190 pounds, by the way. All right, y'all, so that's how it performs. Now, we'll take it back to the shop, pull it apart, and I'll show you what's under there and why I built it. So y'all, my old buddy Hoyt gave this to me. This is a power chair base, you know, like uh, either older folks or sometimes folks with a handicap ride. Well, this was one that was given to him and it didn't have the chair on it. It didn't have the arms on it. Basically, it was a mess and it sat in his backyard a long time and he sees my videos and he gives it to me. And when I get it, the motors are locked up. It's in pretty rough shape. So I cut off all those old electronics that didn't really do anything anymore. Um, I couldn't get the motors to free up. I had to take them down to many, many different parts. Finally got the motors all cleaned up. Some, one of them I had to take apart several times. Got them all cleaned up, got them running. And I thought, you know, I could probably use those motors for something. And then I thought, wait a minute. They're already mounted to a frame. It's already got the swivel casters on the other side. Why don't I just add some electronics to it and see what I can do with it in its current state? So, uh, I have plans in the future to build a RC push mower and I already have the electronics for it. I got a motor driver from a company called Motor Maker. The brand is Cytron and it is a really cool motor driver. So, let me get this hood off the top. This is all cosmetic just to hide all the wiring and batteries and everything. And let's take a look at it. All right, y'all, I'm going to try to give y'all the best look at it possible. So, um, once you get all the gobbledygook off of it that came with the power chair, you end up with a motor with a ground and a hot coming out and a ground and a hot coming out. Pretty simple. Um, uh, this is the Cytron. This is a two-channel, 30 amps per channel motor controller. It's super simple to hook up. Check this out. Plug and play. So this is power from the battery. This is ground from the battery. This is power to a motor, ground to a motor. This is power to a motor and ground to a motor. And then on this side, this is just a regular RC receiver. Um, the one that I have is a Flysky. I got one remote and about four receivers for all my different projects around here. With the Cytron, it comes with these jumper leads. You don't even have to make your own. 
They plug in right here, they plug in right here. This thing runs off of one joystick on the remote. It's really, really cool. So uh, one evening I get out here and I didn't have these fancy batteries yet. I just had a simple 12 volt car battery. This thing will operate, I think, from 7 to 30 volts or something like that. So I've run it off of everything from a 12 volt deep cycle battery to the 18 volt lithium Ryobi batteries to now two 12 volt lithium batteries in a series for 24 volts. Um, so all I did was mount this, plug my receiver into it, uh, wire up uh, my left motor over here, my right motor over here, and power over here. Um, after that, hey, we were rolling. Um, check this out. I got this fancy connector over here. Uh, one's a male and one's a female. They lock together really, really well. Uh, there's an eBay company. I think, think it's called Team XI. And, uh, look, they sell all kind of stuff. If I was going to build one of these from scratch by just buying motors and building my own frame, I would go to them because, check it out, they sell all kind of cool stuff. Here, you can buy a set of these from them, uh, two, both sides, for about $90. This is very close to the same motor that's on there. You could build your own frame and get it done pretty easily. But, now I will say, I do see these on Marketplace. And a lot of times an old power chair on Marketplace is only $150. It's probably not going to work, but all you need is the motors. And most of the time it's the electronics that go bad and not the motors. Um, what else? It's a real fancy, awesome connector. Great eBay company. This came from Motor Maker. This came from eBay. Look, uh, these batteries are eco-worthies. They're lithium. They're real expensive. They're about $85 a piece. The only way I was able to buy these is because you guys watch these videos. And this thing will run, I don't even know how long it'll run. I mean, I can run it and run it and run it and run it on these. So, uh, they're pretty fantastic. Um, what else to say about it? Oh, so you've seen the video of it running with a trailer, but you haven't seen it running without a trailer. Y'all, I loved radio-controlled cars when I was a kid, and this thing is like driving a radio-controlled car. So check out this uh, uh, footage of it without a trailer. Uh, love God, love people, and hit that like button. Appreciate it. Bye. All right, y'all. Without the trailer, it's a lot like driving an RC car. I loved these things as a kid. At 24 volts and no payload, this thing will get up and move.